Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to more Total War Warhammer. Today we'll be conducting ourselves in a different manner. In the sense that we will be doing multiplayer quick battles. Using this quick battle system, allowing team merging. I hope what you can read for yourself right there. Pause, feel free to pause the video or just I'm going to allow you time to let that sink in. Blood Knights in the background as always. These friggin' things that I still don't get what the hell like is the big special deal about them. I don't even know what, real, what role they fulfill for the undead. Or the vampire counts. Anyways, I've done a couple matches this way and found it to actually be quite more more enjoyable than starting my own lobby and kind of relying on certain people that shall not be named to change the fucking map. Now, this is how it starts out. It has a preset army and you can choose dwarves and everything like normal. But you can't change out. You can't get rid of your commander, but you can just do 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 Get rid of everything. And then add in your war boss. Whatever you want for your leader. Shaman. And we're up against two sets of dwarves. So what we're looking for is lots of black orcs. Yeah, lots of lots of black orcs. Biggins? No, we just need orc boys, honestly. Orc poor boys. Maybe some trolls. Fodder. That'll do it. There. Now the way the system works is it automatically matches you up with any with some another you um uh, my first two matches were one v ones of which I was matched up on the bone and we were brought into the game. If you invite an ally, I assume that would bring you into only two v twos. If you invite an ally and you get sucked into a four v four, it will you know allow you to work with your ally, of course. I'm curious of what my ally is taking, to be honest. Uh, it actually doesn't look like a bad army. Can I click this? No, I can't click that. Yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't look like a bad army at all. Um, wow, I didn't. I took a Orc Shaman when I probably don't need to. The only reason why I took the Orc Shaman last time was because last time I faced Vampire Counts and the Vampire Counts dude, fa he did what I expected. Karen race, Hex race, Karen race, Hex race, Blood Knights, and lots of Crypt... For some reason he had a bunch of Crypt Terrors. He had no skeleton zombies, anything like that. No line troops, not even Grave Guard. Just a bunch of ghosts and... Ghouls. Not the troop choice ghouls, just Crypt Terrors. Or Crypt... Yeah, the Crypt Terrors. I matched those with Orc Boy Biggin, or uh, not... Well, there was Orc Boy Biggins, and then I had... Orc Biggins and Black Orcs. And that dealt with him quite handily, because I had too many forces for him, and I just flanked him. Often in this game, you will lose if you take too little forces. That is the new grave. That'll do. 
Simon, try for a scrap. Ready, boss. Oh, boss. The big war. Not sure. We're the three tides. Boys, this is it. Look, this is We'll do it. Whatever you say.
fuck is my ally? Uh, waiting in the wings, man. Waiting in the wings. I'm glad you're fucking sitting back there. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He literally just repositioned to approach from the front. Great fucking job. Stop fucking censoring me. I think we're all grown fucking adults here. Know what fucking cuss words are. And cunt's not even a cuss word. Boys. 
Fucking asshole would have engaged with me. We could have, like, he didn't do anything different. He just engaged in the same exact space. The dude just didn't do anything different. Like, is he fucking stupid? I would tell him to please go kill himself, but vampire accounts are already dead. <laughs> Fucking stupid motherfucker. Go play 1v1. Yeah, where people fucking actually know how to play! Imagine that. Somebody that actually knows how to fucking play. Jesus Christ. The 1v1's went a lot better than the fuck than that fucking 1-2v2 right there. And again, once again, depending on the team. Just it's the worst. I don't know about him, but I was getting shot at by cannons. Hey, fuck boy. Hey, fuck boy. By all means, fuck boy. Let's fucking do this shit. Let's try to do this quick so he doesn't get that stupid shit where he's like... Oh, nice, he's fucking switching factions as I switch factions. How quaint. I won't need any big ends, I'll just do black orcs. Arrow boys, probably... The inevitable gyrocopter that he's gonna have. He's probably talking to me in chat right now. I imagine that he's going to just... Yeah, I imagine that he's going to have a lot of army. That is stationary artillery. And this is why I have a lot of these. Let's see, 60, 60, 60. So Question is, what kind of cheesy shit is he gonna bring? It's a 
fairly alright map, it looks like, I think. I can't really tell from the map, it's just a lot of... He's got that fucking hill. That's all he's gonna do. I can tell. He's gonna get on that hill. Right there. Something like that. He's gonna get up on that hill, and I'm gonna have to charge up to that hill. What a crock of shit. Or, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Ah, you can't access the hill. I have the hill, actually. Anyways, let's fucking do this shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bloody dwarvy boys, bloody dwarvy boys, bloody dwarvy boys. Oh fucking bloody. Oh the bloody boys, oh the bloody boys, the boys is bloody. Oaks versus wars. Motherfucker, God is a stumped, 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 stumped. Do not fucking test me. I know, being a bit of a bad winner, but fuck that guy. No, I can't chat with him anymore. Go fucking stumped. Go fucking stumped. I gotta admit though, um, well, let me, well, actually, before I say anything. Long beards, I don't really see a point. Long beards don't really see a point. He didn't really go for any anti armor. He should have gone with great weapons. Yeah, he took absolute garbage. He sucks. I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure hammers don't do shit. Look at this against armor. Yeah, just look at that. 96. I deploy with less troops than him, too. Yeah, I, let me just make sure here. I actually want to make sure. I... Like, that's what I'm used to. Grey weapons, and there's long beards of grey weapons. Especially with their ace speakers. Okay. Slayers, death, slayers, breakable, and always fight to the bitter end. Hammers, armor piercing damage too. So they probably have lower armor. So let me see here, great weapons. Okay, so it does do comparisons. Yeah, he seems to just needed more. Yeah, I don't get why he picked up these. Try defense against large foes, I guess. I would have technically taken these. What is he getting for those? He's getting more weapon strength, better melee attack. By the 44.50 from 32.28. Old 
grumblers, and these guys get damage dealer. Um, uh, blood and check melee defense. I don't know. In my opinion, these guys aren't that big of an improvement over these guys. You could take a lot more longbeards for the price of how many hammers you had. Or you could go with what I did and just take more hammers. I don't see why he had the longbeards. Pickaxe with satchel turtles. Right here, these guys mining. Miners with blasting turtles. That's the alarm that should be waking me up, but I haven't been sleeping well, so fucking I have that alarm isn't gonna wake up jack shit. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna go and shut that off. No, I think we'll cut the video for YouTube here, but we'll continue streaming. Be right back. And for YouTube, this has been ReaperGuy36, signing off.